Kim Warner with Air Plus Heating and Cooling and today I'd like to talk to you about some things that you can do yourself possibly to prevent a service call and maybe save some money. So sometimes we get phone calls especially when the weather heats up. My outdoor unit won't turn on, my system's not working, what can I do? So rather than save yourself a, a service call for something simple, I'm going to give you a few pointers here. All right, so first of all, some people say, I don't have good airflow. Uh, no, no air is coming out. Check your filters. A lot of people forget to clean or replace the filter. So basically, you're going to pop the cover off, pull out the filter, In this case, I have what's called the clean effects filter. You might have a disposable. You're going to vacuum and make sure that's clean. All right, so as you can see, there's a little bit of dust here that needs to be cleaned, but I've seen them caked on with as much as one inch worth of hair and dust, and that's why their system's not working. It can't even breathe. Okay, so make sure you change your filter. Second thing you can do, if all of a sudden you realize your outdoor unit won't turn on, could be an electrical issue. So what I would do is go over to the, the uh, breaker box and make sure that the breaker is not tripped. Check your breaker box and make sure that the breaker for the air conditioning is on. What you can do is turn it all the way off and all the way back on and then you know that at least that you got covered there. So the other thing that you can do is um, sometimes the inside unit, the fan, this is what blows the hot and cold air. A lot of people don't realize the furnace is an integral part of the air conditioning system. That blower motor blows the hot and cold air. Sometimes the furnace, we've gone on a service call and simply this cord is unplugged. So plug, make sure the cord is plugged in. And in this case, it's not going anywhere because it's smack against the furnace. One of the other things that you can do to prevent a service call is check your thermostat and make sure if you do have batteries, a lot of people don't realize that their thermostat has batteries, that the batteries are um, charged. So you can just simply take, there's a notch up here, you can pull this out, it's attached by these pins. Now in, in this case, this system is hardwired, so there's no batteries. The batteries would go right here. So triple A batteries, three of them. But like I said, in this case, we didn't need batteries, so that wasn't the issue. But I, you'd be surprised how many people call the office and we say, go check your batteries. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You just saved me some money. 